Readings Chris Gunter and Sunderland's Ashley Fletcher fight for the ball. Credit, Eddie Greville There are still six teams with a realistic chance of going down from the championship this season. Reading FC, Bolton Wanderers and Birmingham City are all safe as it stands but Barnsley, Burton Albion and Sunderland all still have a chance of escaping the drop. With the games fast running out the battle is likely to go down to the final day of the season on Sunday May 6. Nine points separate the six teams and with Barnsley having a game in hand next week, it means plenty of scenarios are still possible. Reading FC fans urged to back safe standing petition out of the six, Reading have the best goal difference, effectively giving them an extra point should they finish level with another side. Barnsley, however, are only four goals worse off and one round of games could see the tables turned. It's nail-biting stuff for all concerned over the next few weeks but here are the five games which could be pivotal in the fight for survival. Sunderland v Burton, Saturday April 21, 3pm, the bottom two sides as it stands, a win for either would keep their slim survival chances alive. The loser could be relegated should other results go against them while a draw does neither side any good. The Brewers are a point better off currently 35 points compared to Sunderland's, 34 and with a combined 154 goals conceded between them, this game surely has goals written all over it. Nottingham Forest v Barnsley, Tuesday April 24, 7.45 p.m., five of the bottom six teams have three games remaining, except for Barnsley who have a game in hand which is this one. The Tykes head to the city ground to take on Eider Karaka's side who have nothing to play for which could work two ways. Nottingham Forest boss Eider Karanka. Edit, Eddie Greville Forest will no doubt want to put on a display for their home fans but on the other hand they may be taking things easy with their summer holidays just around the corner. The other five clubs will all be keeping a very close eye on what happens in this match. For v Bolton, Saturday April 28, 3 p.m., the penultimate round of fixtures for the season and no doubt the biggest game affecting those at the bottom of the league. This is a must-win for Albion while the Trotters would take a major step towards safety with a victory. Expect plenty of nerves and tension both on and off the field among both clubs at the Pirelli Stadium. Reading v Ipswich Town, Saturday April 28, 3 p.m. Anything other than a win the previous weekend for Royals makes this match one of the biggest in the club's recent history. Out of Royals' final three matches, this is the most winnable and they will fancy their chances against managerless town. Reading boss Paul Clement. Credit, Eddie Greville Paul Clement is unbeaten at home with Reading since taking over from Yapstam, overseeing two wins and a draw but that will count for next to nothing if they lose this match. Birmingham City v Fulham, Sunday May 6, 12.30 p.m. It's likely by this stage at least one team will have been condemned to League One next season. Birmingham will probably be in with a fighting chance, however, and this game raises some interesting possibilities given Fulham's form at the top of the table. How likely it is Reading FC will avoid relegation the Cottagers could know for certain if they will be automatically promoted or fighting it out in the playoffs, so may opt to rest several key players. The Blues, meanwhile, will no doubt have the strong backing of the St. Andrews faithful so could spring a surprise against the Cottagers. Don't forget to keep an eye out on our social media pages for more Royals news. Our Twitter page is at GetReadingFC and we are also on Facebook, Reading FC, Get Reading.